What's up, YouTube? This is Dostis82, and we're back for more Session 7. This time, we're going to do a speed run of it for those who are playing the game but are getting a little stuck. I've been there. Um, and hopefully, we get a different ending from what we got the first time. Are y'all ready? Yeah, let's go. And what was life like for you there, Ryan? How did things go? <laughs> it was great. That... So his head was bleeding too. Do you have to ask? It was horrible. It wasn't a life. It wasn't living. It was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> and what was the worst part about it, would you say? Hello? Cynthia? The not knowing, definitely. Not knowing what was going to happen next, or who was going to be waiting for me. Not knowing what would happen to me or my family. Hello? <laughs> Help! Help me! Not knowing how the heck I was going to get out of there, or if I ever would. Living in a constant state of fear. That, by far, was the worst part of it. Hello? I, I can't even imagine what I would do if I was in a situation. Is this my basement? Like, first thing was, is this my basement? Oh, okay, come on. Ouch, how the heck did this happen? Mm, I need to bandage my hand. I think we have a medicine cabinet down here somewhere. Whoa, why, why? Come on, Ryan, before you pass out. That's probably how you ended up on the floor. Open it. Passed out from blood loss. There are some bandages and scissors in it. Okay, grab it. Pick it up. Got it. Ugh. Uh, use the scissors on the bit cloth. And then use the cloth. Are we good now? Good. Alright. Hello? Is somebody there? <laughs> no. Or they're just ignoring you, which is probably even worse. I've got to find a way out of here. I'm so see, all you have to do unhook the Wi-Fi and turn off the hot water, unplug it. Unhook the something. And I'm telling you that door will be open in 10 seconds. So, first things first. The window. Oh, can't get through the burglar bars. No, you can't. You'd think we got these things to keep people out, not in. Hmm. When you first realized you were trapped, what did you do? Yelled. <laughs> he screamed a lot. Um, I just lost it. I was terrified. I think the first time I went for I got frustrated. I tried to remember what I was doing before it all started. So we'll go with I just lost it. I was terrified. I just lost it. I was terrified. Thank you. I was just trying everything I could to get out of there. But then I wasn't even sure how I'd gotten there. Nothing was making sense to me. It was like a mad blur. I felt like banging on the walls most of the time. Hmm. I think I was hoping somebody would hear me, but nobody was there. How do your neighbors not hear you? Neither my wife or my son was answering me. I thought maybe they were in danger too. 
Don't you think it'd be less confusing if you started with how you got there in the first place? So is that the right answer that I should have chose? If only I knew. Alright, so now we can pick it up. Pick up the crowbar. You never know when this will come in handy. Yep. Let's... We had a rat problem when we moved in four years ago, too. I hate these little critters. Well, you should just look at the hole and not do anything about it. So... I'm wondering if you have to look at the stuff in order to look deeper into it. This bookcase is mostly made up of my, my and Cynthia's old textbooks. Okay, let's open the box. There are numerous guarantee cards in the upper part. In the upper part. Okay. Look at... No, no. Open it. Also, in the box are some old drug prescriptions for me. What were they about? This is an old Xanax prescription which was issued for me some years ago. Excuse me? Wow, see that's what I was talking about with the music. I thought I thought the game crashed. Okay, can we go in the box again? Even more guarantee cards. Okay. And a battery. Yay. I'm I'm going to keep spamming the box. This is the freaking gold mine right here. What's that at the bottom? Hmm. A therapy session log? Cynthia must have been keeping them. Okay, what does it say? Look at it. According to the date, this therapy session happened some months ago. It reads, Dr. Johnson, when you, when you first realized you were trapped, what did you do? I just lost it. I was terrified. I was just trying everything I could to get out of there. But then I wasn't even sure how I'd gotten there. It stops here. The other page seems to be missing. Not like I don't remember it anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's try the box one more time. Oh, goodness. Nothing of interest. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go to the cabinet. Okay, the drone. Okay, um... Oh man, we hardly ever use this thing. It was pretty fun freaking the neighbor's dog out with it, though. Good memories. <laughs> the police report. The rabies. Uh, look, uh, pick it up. Right? That's how you pick things up. Okay. Great. And a cardboard without any inscription is sitting on a box on the top of the cabinet. But you can't pick it up. Can't reach it with bare hands. Okay. Use llama hands. Uh, and let's try. Oh, right. Look at it. Look at stuff. Again, I don't know if it triggers anything. Cynthia used to be really into making scrapbooks for every year when Landon was growing up. I guess I hadn't really noticed she wasn't doing it anymore. I can't quite bring myself to look through them right now. The socket. Huh, these sockets are actually working. So let's use the drill with the socket. Plug it in. And we'll look at the picture. It's an old photograph of Cynthia, Landon, and me. I hate how my smile doesn't look real in this picture. Interesting. That wasn't the same. He just said that, uh... 
Landon looked happy. It's my old guitar. I used to play every night as Landon was going to bed. I didn't know it was down here now. That sounds weird. Can we open you? A guitar string package dropped out. Okay, so let's pick up the guitar strings. Whoa. I think we could both benefit from learning a little bit more about yourself. That sounds weird too. Like what? Well, what do you do for work? I'm a mechanical engineer. Wow, that's nice. And you like your work? Uh, I said can't complain. Let's say it's awful this time? It's awful. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. So were you upset about having to change offices to be with your son? Um, and the last time I said no, it doesn't matter to me if I'm with my family. So I'll say, yes, I don't handle change well this time. Yes, I don't handle change well. I see. Perhaps this time, however, it was for the best. Wow, you sound just like a shrink. Anyways, work isn't the only thing that makes up a man. What would you say you do for fun? Cannibalism. No. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I play the guitar. And do you find that playing helps you when you are agitated? Do you have to call it that? <laughs> what do you want him to say? Stark raving mad? Like, what do you want him to... I'm sorry, is there something else you would prefer I call your episodes? Well, I... I don't know, it... It doesn't matter. Besides, I haven't had a problem like that in a long time. Is that true? You're taking your medications regularly? Don't you believe me? I don't believe anyone that comes into my office. I mean, if you're not having your episodes, maybe you aren't. Maybe you are taking your medicine. This bulletin board is covered in reminders for meetings with the realtor, the bank, and Landon's teachers, as well as an alphabetized shopping list of Cynthia's. That sounds weird, too. As well as an alphabetized shopping list of Cynthia's. Landon drew something in the corner, but it's too faded now to make out what it's supposed to be. It's like an alphabetized shopping list of Cynthia's. Like, it's a bunch of Cynthia's alphabetized. Like, it just it sounds weird. Look at it. Weird. Is this one of Landon's school pictures? What's it doing down here? Collecting dust. That's what it's doing. Pick it up. Might as well keep it with me. Maybe it's good luck. Alright, so let's look at the picture. It's a portrait of my son Landon from when he was six years old. He looks happy. Hey, there's a small key glued to the back of this. Okay, great. Um, open the drawer. It's empty. Okay. Open... This. Don't walk to the key. Use the key with the locked drawer. Hey, this key works. The drawer is unlocked now. Then open it. There is an envelope and a battery in the drawer. Okay. The envelope is from Landon's old school. Let's see. Hanover School Headmaster's Office, January the 13th, 2017. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt, I'm writing to inform you of an incident in which Landon was involved today at school. Around 10.45 this morning, he was brought into my office by another teacher who was approached about him after class 
by a very distressed female student. The student claims to have been cornered by Landon in the girl's lavatory before school this morning. He told me that he was just trying to ask her to formal, which the female student corroborated. But she also claims that he would not let her leave the washroom until she accepted the invitation. <laughs> uh, that's slightly aggressive. <laughs> A lot less romantic. <laughs> she claims that she told him she would go with him because she feared for her safety. Smart kid. As such, I hope you can understand that we have permanently barred Landon from attending the formal entirely. Regardless of his intentions, he made the student feel unsafe and, as a precaution, cannot be allowed to attend the dance. I must also inform you that this is not the first complaint of this nature that I have received about your son. I am regularly told by other students that he is reclusive, antisocial, and tends to make others uncomfortable with his presence and strange behavior. I implore you, if you are not already, hmm, I implore you, if you are not already, to seek help for your son. That doesn't sound good. I um, sound right. We offer a school affiliated counseling practice on campus, but I believe Landon may benefit more from a qualified psychiatrist. If his behavior continues to worsen, I fear that we will have to consider <laughs> tranquilizer darts. What will you consider? What's this about? You just read it. I knew he was having problems in his old school, but this? I thought we changed schools because he was getting bullied. Why would Cynthia keep this letter a secret from me? That's a good question. That's that's a question I would like the answer to, actually. It's Cynthia's work desk. Um, pick up, pick, pick those up. Who knows how long I'll be locked in here? <laughs> Not long. <laughs> Not today. Well, we should pick up. Pick up the cardboard. A cardboard box without any inscription. I wonder who put it here and what is inside. We have... Open. Open the cardboard. This is a long-range RFID antenna. Must be Landon's. Okay, and let's look at the blanket. Looks like our old picnic blanket. Let's pick it up. Our old picnic blanket. Wow, I didn't know we kept it. Cynthia and I spent much time on that together, especially before Landon was born. Cynthia and I spent much time on that together. Whoa. <laughs> Someone making bombs? Let's talk about something less painful for a while. Sounds good to me. Good to hear. How have things been with your wife since all of this? Okay, and I chose... I thought you said you we should talk about something less painful last time. Mmm... Let's go pretty extreme with this. Honestly, I still haven't forgiven her for all of this. Honestly, I still haven't forgiven her for all of this. I know you keep telling me I should just move on, but it's just... I don't know if I ever will be able to trust her again, not completely. You don't just move on from something like that, you know? But do you really think she's still lying to you, even now? Uh, we said of course last time, maybe not. Maybe not. I... I don't know. Honestly, I just think this is going to take time. I really do want to trust her again. It's just not easy. Well, all right. That's fair. But tell me this, Ryan. Do you still love her? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, we went with she's my wife. Of course I do. Let's go with... Mm. 
Dag. Not anymore. I can't. But you just said you needed time. That's kind of contradictory. Not anymore. Not anymore. I can't. I can't imagine loving somebody I don't even trust, especially not after what she's done. It's not possible for me. You don't have any good memories with her. Something to convince you otherwise? Hmm. Of course I have good memories. I married the woman, for God's sakes. I just don't think there's even a chance we'll go back to the way things were. Not now. Have you told her? Have you told her you feel this way? No, not yet. There's still too much at stake. I have to think about Landon too here. And what are your thoughts on Landon as of now? And that music loop is kind of harsh. I think I'd prefer we save that for another session, Doctor. Yeah, can't give too much away too early, Doctor. Give me a break. This game has to at least be 30 minutes. Oh, um... At least an hour, I think. Hey, there's a flashlight under this blanket. Hey, you should take it. Come on, pick it up. <sighs> Alright, moving on. Uh... My old tools. Hang on, is one of them missing? Dang, I've told Landon a thousand times to bring back anything he borrows. So cry about it. Walk to the screwdriver. Let's... I don't know why we would look at it. Why won't we just... Let's just pick it up. Just pick up the screwdriver. Yeah, let's cut out the middleman. And let's pick up the hammer. That, that, that. Alright, what else do we need? I don't think there's anything in the box. Lots of not off paper and plastic. I think there's a paper clip in there. Awesome. To folders. Can we look at those? There are all sorts of different colored folders full of documents for the new house, old tax files, and various papers for Landon. I didn't realize how much Cynthia was handling on her own while I was away at work. Hello? Hello? <laughs> DJ? Oh, the DJ's on his lunch break. Oh, man, that was, that was something. Okay. So. Oh, okay. The remote control is in the box with the drone. Okay, so now that we have the two batteries used... Use like that. Use the drone with the cardboard. Maybe I can make the drone bump into the cardboard. That is very high maintenance. <laughs> How did you get the box up there? Huh? Question mark. <laughs> Use the remote control. Man, start the engine. And you can see that it's facing the front, so we want it to turn left. See, now it's facing the left, and we're going to move forward. 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 Whoa, goodness. That's the, that's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> If I can criticize any of the puzzles, that is the weirdest one. Pick it up. Pick it up, please. Yeah. And open it. <laughs> that is so weird. Tell me that isn't weird. Come on, use it. <laughs> Green. Okay, where's the other one? 
The antenna receiver is receiving a signal somewhere along that direction. Now the other antenna. And here, okay. The antenna is receiving a signal somewhere along that direction. Seems like the signal is coming from this wooden panel near the workbench. There must be an RFID receiver underneath for some reason. That's, that is something, huh? <laughs> oh, kid is, the kid is freaking MacGyver. Okay, and use the battery with the flashlight. While we're here, why not? Use battery with the flashlight, okay. And now that we have the screwdriver, use it. Use it with the four wooden panel. Thank you. I put the screwdriver in a small gap between the planks. And now let's use the hammer with it. Where is that horrible smell coming from? <laughs> well, you did say you needed a shower. Maybe it's you. So let's... Well, we'll look at it. Look at the box. Weird. There was a little wooden box under this panel. Let's pick it up. And open. Let's see what's in there. Ew. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's some kind of animal skeleton. It's all rotten. Those are Landon's antidepressants. They have not yet been opened. Who's... And an expandable baton? <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing with a baton? He uses it to beat rats. <laughs> I don't know. Now, Ryan, I know we've been avoiding this subject for a while, but... I know. I know. We should talk about him. We should. I'm glad you think so, too. We can start simple. How have things been since the diagnosis? Oh, I, I don't know. Odd, I guess. I just don't know if I believe it. Asperger's can present itself in many different ways, Ryan. Sure, I know it can. It's just... <laughs> You've heard the way I describe him. Does it sound like Asperger's to you? Mm. <laughs> Do you know what Asperger's is? <laughs> well, his antisocial behavior certainly could be a sign. You've told me he has lots of trouble making friends. Some kids are just weird. <laughs> yeah, he does. At least I think he does. He never brings anybody home anyways. Do you think he'll ever get any better about that? I didn't bring any friends to my place, did I? It's possible. Perhaps the antidepressants will help with that as well. Maybe they'll just turn him into a zombie. Many depressed people feel that socializing just isn't worth it, whether they're on the spectrum or not. See? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so he has depression and Asperger's? You ought to know that. Do you have both of those, Ryan? That's true. I don't know. I just can't shake the feeling that I'm, I'm missing something. Something big about his behavior. Should there be a question mark after something? And it's not that I don't trust, well, your people, but if his own father doesn't know him, how can a psychiatrist? Well, you don't spend time with him, so... You may be right, Ryan. But for the time being, the diagnosis should be a good thing. It's your first step to getting Landon help. Don't you think so? Of course, I just want what's best for my son. Okay, that's the one we used last time. Let's do... <laughs> I think I'm afraid of him. 
that's that's still too far. I, he hasn't even found the rat yet. Or the expandable baton. <laughs> I think I'm afraid. That's right. We're doing we're doing extremes. I think I'm afraid of him. I think I'm afraid of him. That psychiatrist he's seeing doesn't know Landon like I do. He hasn't seen what I've seen him doing. <laughs> what have you seen? Yeah, what did you see? It's hard to explain. And I'm not really proud of how I found it. Found what, Ryan? I... You have to understand that he never talks to me. And after everything that's happened, with the bullying and the switching schools and the secrets... I just wanted to understand. I wanted to understand why his hamsters disappeared. See, pretty much every weekend when he thinks nobody is looking, Landon goes off into the belt of forest behind our home and doesn't come back for a couple of hours. Hmm. That's... Back in the day, that was a lot of kids before there were video games, though. They just went out and played for hours. I had no idea what he was doing back there. I thought maybe he was meeting a girl or maybe doing drugs with some friends I didn't know about. She's just thinking the worst? I don't know what that that I really would have minded if that was what he was doing back there because at least that would mean he's spending time with someone okay <laughs> even if it involves drugs but it's the kind of thing I think a father should know about S sure sure so one Saturday afternoon I decided to follow after him I waited until he left the house and scaled over the back fence, and then I went. He walked for about 20 minutes back into the forest, and then he stopped at this little clearing in the trees. I hid behind one of the big oaks while he bent down over something. He was playing the board game Mousetrap with real mice. He wasn't meeting anybody after all. He just seemed to be working away at something, like he was really focused. Oof. Please be his homework. Please be homework. I felt bad watching him, but I also didn't want to interrupt. So I just watched. And then? After a while, he seemed to get bored. He got up and left. After I was sure he wasn't going to come back, I got up so I could get a closer look at his project. Oh no. <laughs> oh. From far away, it looked like, like maybe dolls or something? Like he was playing with dolls or stuffed animals? But then, then I got closer, and... And I realized... Hurry up, Ryan! <laughs> they weren't dolls. No, not dolls. Animals. Corpses. Bloody, open bodies of squirrels and rabbits baking in the sun. I almost threw up. But what was he doing with them? I couldn't tell you. He had a bunch of sticks and sharpened rocks around him. He pulled the guts out of some of the poor little creatures. Huh. It was like he was examining them, playing surgeon. Ryan, I can't lie to you. That's... That's concerning behavior. Is he still doing that? I think that's the most disturbing part about all of this for me, strangely enough. He stopped. That same day that I went after him, he quit going out on the weekends. Whoa. Whoa. 
started staying at home in his room like he does most school nights. <laughs> it's like he knew he'd been followed. Mm. Perhaps Cynthia told him? Maybe, but I don't think so. I don't think she she knew I'd gone out. But he never said anything to you about it. No, never. And to be honest with you, I haven't been able to sleep quite the same since. You see, see, but... Come on now. Maybe... Maybe... Let's give him the <laughs> Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Because there's a lot of people who... I'm sorry, maybe not a lot of people. Maybe that's the wrong... <laughs> that's not the right way to put it. There are people who mess with dead animals who are into taxidermy. So maybe he's just into taxidermy. Why is it gotta be... That he's a, like a potential killer, mill, serial killer or something. Okay, so, hmm. Right. What do we, what do we have? Uh, drone, antenna, we can't do anything with those. Did I look at this already? Wait, these haven't even been opened. <gasps> I thought he was taking them reg- Are you not watching your son? Take his medicine? What? <laughs> so you go to the pharmacy, get the medicine, and just hand your son the whole box and hope that he's taking his medicine? Y'all are a bunch of nuts. I can't open that. It's a blanket. It's not a safe with no combination. So... What's next? Next we have the baton. Let's open it. And let's stick the skeleton in the hole. I'm kidding. I'm comp <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Calm down. Okay. Um. Give hazelnuts to the mouse. Oh, you like these? <laughs> he took it. That's adorable. Okay. Oh, I put like 15 down. Yep. Come on back. Look at it. Yep. Yep. Look at it. What a beast. <laughs> That's an interesting choice of words for a mouse. Use the flashlight with the mouse hole. Look into his pink beady eyes. There's a huge rat in there. We knew that. So, let's do something about it. Man, dude, if it doesn't work this time, it'll work. It'll work. Wait, 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 wait. Before, wait, 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 use this. Use it. But before we get the mouse, use... So it shouldn't take that long. We don't even need this much time. We're going to use the string with the baton. Use? Is it not going to let me use it? I'm knotting the string on the ring at the very top. Okay. Okay, now we have a baton with string. So let's get this mouse. Hey, yo, Jerry! I got a word. I got a bone to pick with you. Use. Really far away. Make him work for it. And then use. 
Not with the cactus. <laughs> with the mouseful. Why would I do that? Okay. That's fair. That's fair. No skipping. Mouse hole. Use the flashlight. There are more crumbs in there as well as a small item some way in. So now will you let me with the mouse hole. Here we go. A package of paper clips. The rat must love nibbling off the plastic wrapping. On paper clips? I found your stash, mouse. So let's use the paper clips with the lock. Yeah, I'm surprised. We learned about these locks at at Robbery University. I bet I could pick it somehow. With one hand. He <laughs> He is the freaking man, bro. He needed two paper clips. To open one lock, and he used the two paper clips in one hand and unlocked the lock. What school is this? <laughs> what school did you go to? Open the door. Oh, a receipt. This is an old receipt for new tools we bought when moving in. Let's see. One hammer. Check. Got it with me. Two bench vices. Check. Yeah. One, two. Drilling machine. Check. Got that. Yeah. Three screwdrivers. Check. Got one of them with me. Four wrenches. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, are you ready to tell me what happened that night? I... I don't know. I'm only here to help you, Ryan. You know that. That has always been my goal with you. I guess that's true. It is. So why don't you start with what you saw when you came home? I saw her. Cynthia, cowering on the floor of the kitchen. Her lip was bleeding, and one of her eyes was turning black on the spot. Wow. I ran straight to her and asked her what happened. I thought we'd had a break-in. I didn't know your eye can turn black automatically. And what did she say to you? At first, she wasn't making any sense. She kept saying things like, uh, I'm all right, I'm all right. It wasn't his fault. And I was asking her, who was he? Then I thought maybe she was cheating on me again, that she brought somebody home and they'd attacked her. A savage, bro. But that's not what happened. No, no, it's not. I asked her, who, who did this? And she kept crying and telling me to keep my voice down. And that's... That's when you realized he was in the house with you. <sighs> yes, I heard him blasting music from his room. He just left her to bleed on the floor. So, what did you do next? I helped Cynthia into a chair and got her some ice. And then I told her I'd be right back. She was scared out of her mind, I think. She didn't want me to go up there. She said he had some kind of a weapon. He hit you in the face with it. You don't know what he had? that he threatened to kill us both with it if we bothered him. I told her I was just going to get some painkillers from our bedroom. <laughs> Your son is threatening you! I don't know if she believed me. Then I went upstairs. His door was slightly open. He didn't even have the gall to close his door. I could see him in his room before he could see me. 
what was he doing? Just sitting on the edge of his bed, perfectly still, just staring at the wall. <laughs> what music was he listening to? Not that it really matters, but you'd never have known what he'd just done to his own mother. There was something in his lap, but I couldn't quite see it. I figured that was his weapon. I had to do something right then and there. He was putting us all in danger. Did you call the police? I would have had to leave the house to do it, and I didn't want to leave Cynthia alone. I didn't know what he was going to do next. So what did you do? <laughs> Without looking at the bottom options. <laughs> what would y'all have done? What would you have done? Is he a teenager? Your teenage son just beat your wife, his mother, in the face. And left her on the floor. Went up to his room like he was a freaking boss, bro. Sat on his bed and he's just staring at a wall. Just staring at the wall. Holding something in his lap. He left the door open. He was just like, I dare you to come at me. <laughs> what would you do? I know my knee-jerk reaction probably wouldn't be legal. Maybe a sleeper hold, maybe. But... I mean... This is self-defense at the at the moment, right? But then you, you have to think like eight steps ahead. Like, okay, well, if a cop comes in, sees my wife on the floor bleeding, sees <laughs> my son choked out on the floor. <laughs> what are they going to think? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to try to talk him down because that doesn't make sense in my head. I went back to my room and started packing. That's the one I chose last time. I am curious. What would have happened if I jumped him from behind? I jumped him from behind. Like a thug. <laughs> I didn't really have a choice. I just knew I needed to stop him. He already stopped, technically. Like, he's not doing anything. So you attacked him? You have to understand me. I didn't want to hurt him. I just needed him to drop whatever he had. Okay? Still need to figure out why you're like a mechanical engineer with no phone in your home, but okay. I thought maybe once he saw that he wasn't going to be able to hurt us, he'd sit down and listen to reason. You're insane. It's like kicking a freaking tiger. Then we could put him in a hospital or something for a while. I didn't... I think I, I never thought that that tell me how you did it whoa don't make it sound like I knew what I was doing I didn't I really didn't I just got so so angry all of a sudden I came up behind him and I hit him hard across the back of the head oh I said sleeper hold. You took it to the next level. It surprised him, I bet. He fell forward, and I used the opportunity to grab what he had in his lap. It was just a wrench. It wasn't even that heavy. <laughs> I don't want to get hit with it, though. What happened after he fell? I tried to hold his head down to the ground, but he was stronger than I thought. Whoa. He got right back up and turned around, and I realized at that moment that whoever I was looking at wasn't my son. <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. Not really. It wasn't like a monster or something. There wasn't a trace of humanity left in him. But he wasn't dead, though. Did he hurt you, too? Yes. 
It only took him a second to realize what had happened and who had hit him. And then he was right back up and punching me as hard as he could in the face without a word. What? <gasps> what? What? How did you let a teenager get up? He knocked the air straight out of me, put me flat on my back, bro. He was taking boxing lessons from Tyson. And did he say anything to you after that? <laughs> he probably spat on you and walked out. He told me I really ought to mind my own business. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I was enraged, bro. He punked you hard. I yelled at him to stop, but he didn't. He just kept hitting me, hitting me so hard I could barely see. And my nose was bleeding. And I called out for Cynthia, but I don't think she could hear us. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. And then? And then it was like my body acted on its own. I didn't even think about it. I think it was self-defense and I know I was crying and I just swung the dang wrench up to where I thought his face might be above mine and and The sound was awful. And then he fell. Yes. But not right away. It took him a second, like he was thinking about it. He got all quiet and I looked at him in the eyes and he just looked surprised. Not even sad or upset. Just surprised and then he fell on top of me like a rag doll and I just knew I knew he was gone but if you killed him then how did you it was Cynthia I was trying to get up and I turned around and she was there, holding one of the heavy ceramic vases her mother gave to us. <laughs> what? I thought she was going to faint. I got up to help her, to run over to her, but then she lifted the vase up above her head. Bro, tell me you got knocked out by two people. And that's the last thing I remember. There you go. That's all you remember. It was Cynthia. I didn't believe it myself. I couldn't have. It took me ages of searching around in that basement to remember even that far. When I woke up in that basement, I thought, I thought maybe somebody had come in or I had fallen down Lock the door. <laughs> I, I thought my family was in danger. But I was wrong. Okay. It was them. They hurt me. My own family. My own wife imprisoned me. So what did you do when you got out the basement? She left me to die. So was she upstairs making breakfast or... You killed her only son, Ryan. She was terrified. Yeah, well, we'll see what the jury thinks about that. I was only trying to protect her. I was trying to protect us. See, that's why I was like, mm, jump him from behind. From the son you raised. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the truly scary part about all this, isn't it? He was our son. He slept in our house. We took care of him when he was sick. Ah, I gave him a box of antidepressants. We gave up our lives for him. I, I switched jobs. His mother tucked him in at night for years. 
psychopathy is very difficult to understand. Yeah, no kidding. I don't think I want to understand. I don't want to know what was happening in his head. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to know what he was thinking when I hit her. Wait, when he... I don't want to know what he was thinking when he hit her or when he attacked me. Or when I... When we looked at each other. Perhaps we should end here. We can always pick up later. No! He's talking! Keep going! I mean, it's like midnight, but... I just need a moment. Aww. See? That's why I was like, you know what? Mm. This is gonna escalate. <laughs> Standing behind him with the weapon in his lap, all, and he's already on level 10. You don't jump someone from behind. That's, that's, I'm sorry. Open, look, look at it. Just look at the bimetal hole saw kit. A bimetal hole saw kit. <laughs> All right, pick it up. Look at it. The toolbox Landon got me for Father's Day this year. <laughs> It's nice, although I haven't found a reason to saw anything yet. Is it missing a wrench, maybe? He was just trying to restock his supply and figured kill two birds with one stone. Oof, no pun intended. Okay, so we're gonna use, use, use. Use that with our drilling machine. I figured it was just called a drill, but that's fine. Let's use the drill with the drilling machine. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, do that. Open. Cynthia! <laughs> I'm out, Cynthia. Time to pay the piper. <laughs> Alright, wait. Are there any achievements here? I don't think there are any. No. I don't think there are any achievements. Let's get out. We've gotten a little... Um, we've gotten a lot of good work done today, Ryan. I appreciate you opening up to me as much as you have. I understand this hasn't been easy for you. Yeah, well, it was good just to see a familiar face. It's easier to talk to somebody who already knows my history. Of course. Still, I have to admit, I was surprised to get this call. I'm sorry it's come to this. The trial hasn't happened yet. I, I still have a chance. I assume that's why you're here, right? Well, I'd like to say I'm here simply to support you. But yes... Ryan, I must admit to you, things aren't looking good for you. Really? Still? Did you take pictures of your face after your, bun your son beat you? Your son is dead by your own hands. You may only have been trying to help your family, but this is going to be difficult to explain away. You shouldn't say that. Still, it's important that you came clean. I'll do everything I can to help you with my testimony. How you just I just I hope it will be enough. You want you want to see this dude jump out the window? And Cynthia? She's in just about the same boat as you. There's a chance she'll be released because she was technically a victim of domestic abuse, but yes, she'll also have to stand trial. Man, I hope you have a good lawyer. 
Johnny Cochran isn't around anymore. I see. Do you think... Do you think I'll have to talk to her? <laughs> I mean... Even after she cheated, you felt... Even after she cheated, you felt like you could never trust her again, right? So, for your sake, I hope they don't. What? Maybe I just read that wrong. That's all for today, Ryan. Your handler will take you back to your room. You've been through a lot. I just hope we can work through it all and get you feeling better soon. Mm, you keep doing these overnight sessions. It will be any day now. I'll see you tomorrow. That psychiatrist made a lot of money. Just touch your nose to every wall and time will fly. Session seven. Okay. All right. Well, I hope my gameplay helped you to get through the game. If you enjoyed the gameplay, please leave a like and share. Um, I, I can't wait to see your comments about what you thought of the game. This one was... <laughs> mm. Uh, so since this one sounds better, I may end up just going with this gameplay. I'll still post the other one with the sound that's not that good, but you can still kind of understand what I'm saying. I'll post that one too later, but I'll put this one up first since it was faster and it sounded better. It's not great, but it sounds better than the first one I did. But yeah, I hope it helped. Y'all have a great week. Bye guys. Pain, throbbing from the gaping hole in my stomach. Uh, that could have gone better. What did you do? Ah! Dr. Turner, open up! I'm busy! My eyes, swimming. I almost black out again. Come on, Jim. There's nothing to worry about. Then why are you banging on the door? Harris. Open this freaking door, James. Party now. Or whatever it is that's living in his body now. What? I clenched my teeth against another wave of agony. Keep it together.